It's Andy O'Reilly. It is 11 o'clock, and we are introducing a brand new feature here on The Big Show. It's called 10 at 11, where we're going to give people a chance to come in for 10 minutes and talk about exactly what's going on with their cause, their, their, their event, their attraction, or whatever. And I couldn't think of a better place to start than the USS Silversides. Frank Marzak is here from Silversides. Frank, good morning. Good morning, Andy. How are you today, man? I'm very fine. Thanks you made for your way me. up. You found the place, and everything yes, is good. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm going to watch yeah. out for that. <laughs> Hey, uh, let's talk about the Silver Sides. If, if I'm new in town, I've never been to or heard about the Silver Sides, give me the elevator speech. T- tell me about the Silver Sides. You don't have to be new in town because we do find a lot of people who've lived here many years and still find us to be a pleasant surprise in yeah. their, their career. Yeah. Silver Side Submarine is a, a museum, is a, a museum based around the biggest archive that we have in West Michigan, which is a submarine, a, yep. ni- a 1940 World War II successful submarine. We're located, uh, <coughs> excuse me, on the uh, Muskegon Channel, out near Pier Marquette Beach, and you can tour this submarine. You can tour a Coast Guard cutter, and we have a military museum inside featuring all venues of military history. It's it's uh, it's something that <coughs> I I found right when I first came to town, and I and I've lo- I've loved it since. I, I I think that the experience of seeing what it's like inside a submarine is absolutely unbelievable. And you've got some great programs that kids can do as well. Kids can come down and stay overnight and all kinds of stuff. Oh, yes, they can. Uh, we can uh, host, host about uh, 100 kids on, really? uh, on a night between the submarine and the Coast Guard cutter, and they absolutely love it. It's yeah. uh, like a, in, in the vernacular, they call it a botel because it's a swarm <laughs> of a hotel, if yeah. you will. Okay. <clears throat> Talk a little bit about the submarine itself. It's got quite a record from World War II. It is, and it is one of the most successful in surviving. It went on actually 14 patrols, which is pretty unusual for that era, and uh, almost exclusively in the Pacific. Yeah. And that ship was built in uh, 1940, 1941, and went into service seven days after Pearl Harbor. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable ship. Yes. And, and to walk through it and to see... All that technology and everything that it, it, it's just a it, like you said, it is a gigantic time capsule yes. of what life was like yeah. back then. And, and really, I mean, for for the forties, if you ask me, it is uh, it's it's pretty advanced. It is down uh, underneath. In fact, there are items that are named computers on really? that ship. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, let me speak of one issue that may be of interest to the public on Sunday, May twenty fourth, if I have my memory correct here. We hold what is called the Lost Boat Ceremony at 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning, and it is a ceremony honoring the 52 submarines that went down during World War II Mm. and the over 3,500 men who lost their lives. Mm. And um, it's uh, ceremonial, it's uh, uh, poignant, it's military, it's patriotic. Sure. Um, It ends with starting of the engines. Two of the engines on that ship work, and when we start them, it's something else to see, hear, really? and smell. Yeah. Has it, has it been has it t- been taken out into Lake Michigan recently? I know it's done a couple of movies. It's been in movies, but when it goes out there, it has to be towed. There are no propellers on the submarine anymore. Right. I shouldn't tell that to the public, but that's the way it is. Well, okay? you know, it's not going anywhere. They're not yeah. going down there to look. I can tell you that. That is correct. Because yes. uh, yeah. I've been to the channel, and as much fun as it is to feed the ducks and everything, yeah. I don't think I want to go for a swim. There you go. In the channel, it's cold. Let's talk about the uh, the storm that you guys are presenting at the Muskegon Community College Overbrook Theater. This is it, this is a it's a you tell the story. This it's, storm. It's, it's a it's a fantastic video documentary about the Great Lakes. Okay. And I happened to see this documentary last September up in Traverse City during a schooner fest. The uh, creator of this is actually a fellow who hails from Whitehall by really? the name of Rick Mixter. M I X T E R. All right. He's a uh, video documentary fellow, historical. He's done a number of things, and uh, on this one, it is about the Great Lakes. So it involves history. It goes back into the 1600s, beginning with fierce storms that were documented, interestingly enough, back in that era, and many, many of the ships that sunk. So uh, it goes from way back about 1650 up to the most... Well, not recent, but significant, and that is the Fitzgerald sure. that went down in, uh, what, oh, I should say. 72? 73. 73. 73. Somewhere 73. back in yes, there. Sir. Edmund Fitzgerald. Yeah. 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 75, I, excuse me, 75. 75? 
I think we both ought to get kicked out of I Michigan for not yes, knowing this. Yes, 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 we should be. We should I did be. I did just see a, a great big thing on the Edmund Fitzgerald, though, on the Smithsonian Channel, and okay. it, it's it's a huge, huge part of Michigan history and shipping history. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And this, this encompasses it all, and it, it yes. talks... How many, just off the top of your head, how many shipwrecks are there known in, in the Great Lakes? Do you know? Uh, hundreds, yeah. from what I have heard. And this documentary on Saturday night will mark and identify a number of them, including a number of them that went down in storms off the Muskegon Channel, the White Lake Channel, up in Pentwater. Uh, Rick Mixter takes these videos and he makes them uh, relevant to the local area. Sure. So he modifies them. Let's talk about tickets. Is this uh, this is a ticketed event? It is a ticketed event. Okay. It is uh, $20 general admission. That's fi- nothing. $15 if you're a student or yep. if you were a member of the museum. And uh, this is a one show only. Really? And, yeah, one show only. And so uh, seating is somewhat limited and I would urge anyone interested to get your tickets. Call in to either the Silver Signs. I can, the number there is 755-1230. Okay. Or the uh, community college box office seven 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 zero three two four. What uh, what does the summer hold for the Silver Sides down there? What can we expect other than the you know you got the storm show coming up here at the yeah, Old Brook Theater? Yeah. Any special things coming up in uh, over August? The in August we will be featuring a an exhibit about the Holocaust. Ooh, and that, those are some very 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 tough times. Very yeah. tough times. And uh, in fact, my son and I just came back from Poland and we visited Auschwitz and what a somber place that is that's oh. an understatement but um in the summer of course we now start getting the tourists from sure. far and wide international um the lost boat ceremony yep. begins the season for us and uh, starting the engines are on a cycle of starting throughout the summer and if you go to our website you can uh, find out when that'll happen and be out there and enjoy the the smoke and the smell <laughs> just just in case those people in wisconsin gets out of line that we've got correct. the silver sides at the ready uh, and, the, <laughs> the, and the and the ship is pointing towards. That's right. <laughs> towards Wisconsin. You yes. can't trust Milwaukee. I've said that since day one. Well, there is a there is a submarine in Manitowoc, so we have to be careful. All right. Well, we'll mind our P's and Q's. Yes, sir. Frank Marzak, the USS Silverside. You can get more details online at silversidesmuseum.org. Again, the show is coming up on Saturday night, April eighteenth, at the Overbrook Theater. Tickets two three one seven 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 zero three two four. Or seven five five twelve thirty. Frank, you know the you know the way here. The I, door's open. You okay. get anything going on that Silver Sides? We want to be a part of it. Very good. I'll be back. All I'll right, be, Frank Marzak, everybody from the USS Silver Sides, right here on the new ninety eight nine Real Gold Radio. Hey, you know what? You got eight minutes out of ten. That's that's good. that's great. That's great, Frank. That's great. Thanks for coming okay. in, man. Here come faces. It is on the new ninety eight nine Real Gold Radio.